th this idea of type of video is an idea that someone sent me years ago. Uh, his name is Nathan Cruzen. And so I just want to say thanks, Nathan, for letting me know that this kind of video even exists. So in the previous vlog, you may have heard me said, There's a little bit more to it because there's something at the end of Sasum Khan that really inspired me for my next adventure. So now I'm going to tell you what it was. I didn't really film any of it, so I kind of just figured I'd wait for a good time to tell you what happened. Basically, at the end of Sasum Khan, the last panel I went to was about a festival. It's about a festival called Wasteland Weekend. And Wasteland Weekend is a post apocalyptic Oh, shit. It is currently 11, 12 at night. Uh, in order to make my One Punch Man costume more uh, on point, I have been doing the One Punch Man workout, which is where... You which is a, is a workout that you have to do every single day. And I just realized I have not done it yet today. And so uh, it is 11. And so before midnight, I need to quick do that. Give me just a sec. I'll be, I'll be right back. It originally started as just a fan meetup for the Mad Max series. And me personally, I'm a huge fan of the Mad Max series. I have been since... Well, I can't say since the first movie because, like, the originals are very are pretty old. They were older than me, I think. Uh, but either way, like, these are movies I absolutely love. So when I heard there was a festival for it, I wanted to go to the festival. But unfortunately, I never had an opportunity. However, at Sawsome Con, uh, it was a relatively small conference, and so there weren't necessarily a lot of people that were interested in each particular topic. So you really got to have an intimate, like, conversation with knowledgeable people about the different topics that were there. So I thoroughly enjoyed the panels at SawsomeCon, but especially, or I should say, particularly this Wasteland Weekend panel was amazing. It was just one guy, but he's a guy that seems really knowledgeable about Wasteland Weekend. He's been there a lot. I think he's like a leader in one of the tribes. But anyway, the point is, I approached him afterwards and I asked him, hey, if I were to buy the tickets, like if I were to pay the price, would I be able to uh, ride along in your caravan? Because the thing is, I don't have a vehicle, as you guys already know. And so, I kind of needed a ride in order to be able to go. I have the money to be able to go, I just, you know, don't have a vehicle. So I asked him and he said, yeah, he'd be fine with that. Uh, he, he liked the idea of helping somebody out. Yeah, you want me in the video? <laughs> Excuse you. Excuse you. Wasn't that a little much? You don't need to lick it. Yeah. You gonna help me finish? As long as you only ever do that when my mouth is closed. <laughs> If you guys were watching very closely, you might have seen the right at the last second I wrote into the tree, the top of the tree, always plug. I use Instagram basically as my art gallery. So if you'd like to see what kinds of drawings might come up in the future, might be in the future of this channel, uh, I would encourage you to check out my Instagram. It's at Nicholas Burnt. that's B-R-N-T-T, -T, my last name without the vowels. So check that out. That's where you can find pretty much all of my drawings. Also in the previous video, I mentioned that I had just finished a book and I was willing and or interested in doing a review of that book with you guys if you so chose. So I had a poll on the video. Only one person voted, but they voted yes. So it's called The Joyful Christian by C.S. Lewis. It's uh, essentially someone brought together a whole bunch of little uh, parts of his different books uh, in order to be, and I, I maybe they're chronological, but I, I doubt it. You could easily use it as a devotional because the chapters are really short but it's also like it's really thought-provoking yeah I I disagree with CS Lewis on probably like maybe 30 percent of his of 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 what he has to say but I really appreciate the thoughtfulness with which he says the things he says if that makes any sense so essentially like he says a lot of really great things he says some things I don't think are true but he says them with an attitude and a purpose that I think is valuable and is a positive influence on anyone who reads it even if you're not a Christian I think this is a beneficial book to read just because it kind of gives you a little bit of perspective on the way Christians think or or maybe better the way Christians talk because it it, ta it it uses a lot of very Christian vocabulary I think it's a really good book the five things or parts of this book that stood out to me the most was his chapter on virtue his chapter on pride his chapter on 
fascism and communism, his chapter on love thy neighbor, and the ego and the self. Those are all in the last half of the book, but I really appreciate this book. It really spoke to me. It clarified some things about me. I would recommend it to anybody, whether you're a Christian or not a Christian, for a wide range of reasons. One being, uh, he's he's a fantastic writer, and if you want to if you want to be a writer of any kind, uh, he's a useful person to read. So, anyway, I thought that was really good. No one commented below asking for it, and that's fine. So I did give it away to a friend of mine who I think will really appreciate it. He's a big C.S. Lewis fan, so. Headshots should totally count. I desperately want it. Headshots are the only reason I'm playing. Go throw it at them. Go throw it at them. Go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. This is not underhanded. Something. Uh, but three days later, I did actually buy the tickets, and I talked to him, and sure enough, yep, he's still still okay with me coming in their caravan. And so yeah, I'm going to Wasteland Weekend, and I'm so excited. I've wanted to go for like four or five years since I first heard about it, so I'm really excited about that. I've been to California, uh, I don't know, two, three times? I don't remember how many times now. I always enjoy California when I'm there, uh, at least if I get some time to be in the nature, because California has some amazing landscapes. This will be my first time ever, ever camping in a desert, so I'm kind of excited about that. I love to camp, so it'll be a totally new experience. Uh, there will be more videos coming out about that in the future, and yeah, if you have any questions about Wasteland Weekend, I probably don't know the answers, but I would be happy to tell you what I know and or point you to people who do know. Uh, if you guys want to ask in the in the comment section, so that's that's the next big adventure uh, Lined up for this channel, and I'm super excited about it. I'm gonna vlog it obviously There's one person I've seen who's vlogged it before and I want to get in contact with her to ask her like the logistics of how she does it and everything But I don't know if that's even interesting to you guys Let me know in the comments if you guys think that would be interesting I also want to go over something really important that is changing which is I'm I'm setting new goals for the- What? What? I'm setting new goals for the channel, and I say they're goals for the channel because only part of it is is something I can do. So part of these goals are goals for me, things I can do. And then the other half of these goals are things that only really you guys can do. I can't do anything about these. You guys are the ones that are gonna have to do them. So here's here's the new goals. The house is a wreck because I've been reorganizing my camping gear, because I've, I've gotten some new camping gear, replacing some things, that kind of, this kind of stuff, reorganizing. But anyway, here is my new, my new goal board. Goal, bo goals board, board goals, goal, I don't know. So my part is the days of the week, seven days a week, uh, to Thursday, to plan the next video, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, to record somewhere in that time, the video. Monday is editing day, which, <laughs> which was yesterday, so I'm, I'm behind this week, but I'm, I'm about to catch up. Tuesday, which is today, is upload, which I'm going to do tonight. And then Wednesday is publish slash reward. Basically on Wednesdays, I'll publish at 9 a.m. And then uh, I'm going to spend the rest of the day, basically, rewarding myself by being on social media and interacting with anything you guys are doing. Uh, basically, I'm ho I don't do social media for the rest of the week so that I can focus on it on Wednesday and really enjoy it. Instead of making it like this drag, like, oh, I have to, you know, this or that. It's more of like, this time is set aside for this. I don't need to feel guilty about wasting my time. I can just enjoy internet interactions. So then for the channel goals, like th these are goals for you guys because I can't do much about them. Total watch time, our next goal is 10,946. That's minutes watched of the channel. We're aiming for 10,000 minutes of watch time. Total views, 6,765. Total shares, aiming for 89. Total videos, we're aiming for 89. Oh, and supporters, this is Patreon. Supporters, I'm aiming to get three. <laughs> so uh, there's two people that are already supporting me. I appreciate that a lot. I've got another picture that's getting ready to go for 
one of the patrons, I, I, don't, I haven't flipped the coin to find out which one, because there's only two I can flip the coin right now. But the next goal is three. And every time we break one of these goals, we'll, I'll do a celebration video where we'll break stuff. So that's the idea. Oh, and stay tuned, because I think next week is the Eclipse video. It's either next week or the week after. No, next week. Stay tuned, you guys, because next week we're going to do, I'm going to do a costume video. You're going to get to see my Wasteland Weekend costume. So, and it's, I like it. You might not like it, but I like it. So I'm pretty excited about it. It's not completely finished, because it always needs more dirt. And I'm going to wait until I get there to put the dirt on it. It's 4.43 in the morning, and I just, I'm just i just finishing up editing and realized I don't have an outro. So I just want to say I love you guys. Hit that bell. Stay well. And I'll see you tomorrow. Or Wednesday. I'll see you Wednesday. Up here, we've got a playlist of the first vlog series. Down here, we have a video that I think you'll like. Right here is my newest and best. And you can always help and support. Uh... Uh, through my Patreon right here, which is a chihuahua with a, with a crazy grin. Mostly because I think Patreon's new logo is total horse shit. Did I say that right?